and Guy Pierce, who plays Killian, has really come out of the gate and I think is going to uh, remind people why he's one of our uh, great uh, national treasures. Uh, uh, he's, he's on loan from Australia, but he's a great American national treasure. I really felt that the, the big idea here was he's so central to the story. He is, aside from Rhodey, he's the closest person to Tony, and because John and I are so close, and because everybody has such a familiarity with him that we thought he can't just come in and, and do what he used to do, which is shoot everyone else's coverage, maybe crack a joke, maybe just stand there and be this kind of non-entity. It was, uh, it was uh, a waste of talent. So this time we were wasting none of his talent. He's central to the story, and when he comes in, he just brings everyone to school because he has the freedom of not having to worry about what's on the call sheet. He's just someone coming in and to, uh, coming into play and have a good time. So I think A for the fans, B for all of us who love him so much, C for Shane, D for the rest of the cast who has uh, either a direct experience with him or an understanding that he's kind of the, the grandfather of why we're all here anyway. Uh, it was super important and um, I think he'll probably wind up with some of the most touching and definitely the most uh, entertaining moments in the story. Uh, well, to me, it's the perfect balance of not too far and not, not far enough. Um, and again, a lot of this happens just by kind of like dialing in the servos as you get closer and closer to shooting and all of the great department heads we have. And everybody has a take on what should we do next. Um, I remember in the Extremis uh, series, at a certain point, Tony internalizes Extremis. And I was like, dude, that's where this has got to go. And it's not impossible that it could. But the other thing you always have to think is, how far is too far? At what point have you taken all your toys out and you've essentially burned out any possibility of ever having another one? At the same time, how do you want to make each one feel like it's definitive and you're not, uh, you're not keeping your best cards you know, um, on the table? Sir Ben brought the trifecta of an extremely accomplished artist who also came uh, with a lot of very strong ideas which were necessary and had to be implemented and then third decided to absolutely cut loose and play in a sandbox like a improvisational five-year-old and um, I think probably the most fun that I've had shooting the film has been watching what he's done that you never could have imagined would be scripted before they said rolling so and coming from me, who prides myself on off-the-cuff stuff, I guess that's saying a lot. So in a way, this movie would not have worked at all and, and would not be the movie it's going to be if Sir Ben hadn't done what he did.